I'm at Autzen Stadium, wandering around. It's completely empty. There are bathrooms everywhere, and they're all locked. Porta potties everywhere. And if you go into downtown Eugene, you will struggle to find a bathroom. But here at Autzen, where all the games are held, where thousands of people go, there are bathrooms everywhere. But only sports fans can use them. I'm going to see if I can find anyone to talk to. Because I'm actually in need of someone to talk to. Let's see what's around. What do we have here? Hmm. Excuse me. Do you have a second? I'm I'm making a movie about homeless people trying to reveal what it's like. Do you have a second? Hmm? Huh. Well fucking fine then. What's with these Hey! Do you know what's up with these balloons? Hey! Excuse me? Hello? Hey! Come on, dude. I'll, I'll pay you money. I got lots of money. I just want a couple of questions. Just come on. It's, it's okay. I'm safe. You'll be safe. It's cool. Hello? All right, looks like... Hey! What? Why don't you want to talk to me? Come on. All right then. Yeah. Yeah, I'll fuck... Yeah, I'll see you later. You know? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, have fun sleeping outside. Have fun. And there's fucking nothing now. Not a... Wait a minute. Who is that? Maybe this person will let me talk to them. Hey, excuse me! Hey! Hey! What the hell? No, that's, that's fucked up. No, that is fucked. I just want to talk to her. But, I guess... Uh, I don't know what to think now. Maybe I dodged a bullet. Her not talking to me, but goddamn, I got close. She was really cold, too. I, I offered her money, I offered her everything, and I guess I got lucky. Because I'd hate to imagine what would happen if she had talked to me. Well... This shit has me scared, and I still have to walk home alone. But, I'm sure I'll make it. <sighs> no, there's, there is no one. No one there. I can't imagine anything else is creepy, except for maybe this. What the fuck is that about? Ooh, I'm seeing stuff flying around the camera. This is bad news. But, oh God, I don't know what that's about. I don't know why I had to check.
It's not always what we see that matters. It's what's underneath what we see. And this is us. I don't really like to show my face on camera, but they're they're these weird dudes I've been seeing a lot lately. And I it always feels like the first time whenever I run into one. Mask guys. It's like I'd heard about them for a while and you know I know a lot of this footage that you might find or see may not appear to have interesting little river shrine here. Like what does this even say? If you find this and have something to write with, leave a rock. Eat your meals. The earth is flat. Pussy ain't free. Don't water yourself down. Diversity is a gift to all of us. Love your body. With some very old rolling papers. Don't listen, just talk. And a Bible verse, lovely. Yeah, so usually I just like taking this route um, when I'm walking home from like work or even if it's a nice day it's like what the fuck uh, uh <laughs> I don't I don't like that at all I re I really am not a fan of that um, the river is always so so oh, nice at night. The city in the distance. Um. Hello? Hello? Who the fuck's there? Oh. I. I don't really like that. I. I think I'm gonna have a cigarette and. No, no, thank you. Well, what the um, fuck is that? Um, am I trespassing? I don't think I am. Uh, <laughs> oh no. No, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna really... get out of here. I'm gonna get uh, the fuck out of here. Um, hello? Dude, what the fuck? It says, is this you? Uh, mm. How funny, the escalator isn't working. I'm gonna have to walk up these steps myself. Um. I can kinda, kinda get my bearings in this whole place. But honestly, I really don't feel quite safe here. Uh. Yeah. Not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Cause I don't think people want me to be here. Ooh. 
door scared me. Fucking murder. Wow. Yeah, murderers like to hang out next to the river. I'm a real big fan of it. In 2009, somebody from... In 2009, a man shot himself in this theater. He pulled a gun out in the theater and killed himself during a premiere showing of the movie The Watchmen. Very many people have lost their lives in this building, often used, only used for commercial purposes. Hey there everyone, it's Seth Sepulchre here again. I'm just in this spooky sewage tunnel. Um, just to see about this urban legend, there's supposed to be the ghost of a homeless man that shows up in this very tunnel because he died here. And if you knock three times, he's said to appear. So, you'll be joining me today here again just to see whether or not we can summon a ghost in this spooky tunnel. Or whether or not it's just an urban legend. All right, just heard some fucking knocking down at the other end. I haven't even knocked yet and something's going on. Can you hear that? Yeah. And it's so treacherous too. Like I'm standing across two feet of sewer water. All right. All right. I'm knocking. One, two, three. Hello? It's just a creepy fucking tunnel. Even if the legend isn't true, this still is not a pleasant experience. All right, here I go. I'm gonna knock three times. Let's see if anything answers. One, two, and three. Yeah, I'm... along the river and at one of Eugene's biggest hot spots for just about anything, let's say. Um, it's been real. Hopefully I'm not, you know, followed around again. Uh, but, but if I am, it's fucking whatever. They have, they have another thing coming, let's just say that. Anyways, take it easy, my, uh, fellow cemeterians. It's been Seth Sepulchre. Peace.
And H hello? Um, so, so these infamous stairs to nowhere, one of many in Eugene, is right next to the Willamette River, over by the Valley River Inn and the Valley River Mall. You can see these stairs in a movie that has been shot at the Valley River, I believe in the 60s or, or early 70s. And these stairs make a cameo because over here in this area, next to the river of course, was a little stand for waterboarding and other water sports related to the river. Um, thank you everybody for joining me today on this spooky little adventure. It is- Yeah, I would say that this part of the river is definitely the most dangerous. Yeah. This is... The memorial has been swept away by the rising tide in the winter, and now it is low enough to see the beach. And this is where the life was taken. Unforgiving that the white waters are. Oh man. Uh, not that one. Mariposa? The beginning of it? The promised land? Land of crooks? Criminals? I don't know, man. Dude, that fucking... That looks like a chair made out of rocks. Like, a fucking chair made of rocks. I'm gonna check it out. There's a pillow. And, yeah, this looks like it's made out of stone. Like, what the fuck? A recliner made of stone. 
covered in moss and lichens and everything. Fucking pillows. Just out in the woods. Side of the highway, middle of nowhere. It's not made out of rock. But man, that would have been crazy. All right. Gotta save space, we should go. No way out and no way in. Time has taken this. Let's see if I can get a better look. Nature comes back tenfold. God damn the sun. There's a way in. And this place, forgotten to time. No way in, no way out, no escape. Hidden in plain sight in Lakeside, Oregon. Okay, there we go. Completely fucking abandoned. Forgotten to time. I thought for a second I saw something. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. It's easy. It plays tricks on you. Yeah. yeah. It helps to like hold still. Just like... ask again. Like, so how long have you been hunting? Uh, I've been hunting for. 15 years. You think we'll see Bigfoot? It's always a possibility. 15 years. That's a long time to be hunting. I don't know about being out in the middle of the woods like this. I just don't. I gotta save battery. But it's beautiful. A little sketch. What the fuck is that? Definitely. I know for a fact people drown and oftentimes they'll find them around that green bridge. It's in the distance, you can't see it very easily, but that bridge. I know this, my cousins told me too going swimming and seeing a body float by, having to call the police. <laughs> It's pretty freaky. gonna start out with uh, asking you how you feel about Eugene like what's it been like for you so far for me I'm doing the, the homeless thing kind of by choice more or less yeah 
just I want to just know what, why, you know, like what's what's it all about. Yeah. Why don't you get a job? Yeah. I want to know. I want to try it. I want to know so, too. I'm trying it, and so far it's fun. I mean, yeah. I do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's been like honestly the time of my life. So that's one of the things that I can think is maybe people are going getting something back from their childhood that they once lost when they do this yeah i can definitely see that because man i have not climbed so many trees in a couple weeks but anyways yeah uh, yeah uh, finding your new sense of adventure and 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 fun because all hours of the night you've got people outside whether they're coherent or crazy or not yeah yeah they're listening yep sometimes talking (laughs) to their shoes or something. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they will, but you're right, like you can't you can't go out without running into somebody and Exactly. It it makes it feel much more like a city in a way. Like Yeah. yeah. Like a fancy city. Yeah. A little bigger than it is. Yeah, spread out. I like the alleyways. I stick to the alleyways. Primarily the dark (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ones with a little less light in them. Yeah, yeah. I'm a shadow person Ooh, too. <laughs> exactly. But uh, no, I'm a I'm a little bit of an introvert, and I can't really uh, I don't know shine. Like yeah. As I can. So. <clears throat> Being an introvert is hard. I like to make noise from a distance. <laughs> you know, from I'm far there. away. You know I'm there. So. Yeah, in the in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts at all? Uh, I do. You do? Yeah. Have you ever ran into anything that you would say is is a little ghosty in Eugene? In Eugene? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, uh, it was kind of more or less like dark, like black magic, but it was a definite like ghostly presence for sure too. Like, oh. When yeah. you're around ghosts, you feel this like sense of panic. Like, yeah. Is just, like, yeah, like you like the hair, the hair on on. What? The fuck? <laughs> there was a bang against the wall. When, that, yeah, when yeah. we were when we were talking about that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so it's like this panic that you get, and that's what I was getting for sure. But then I got also like a real dark, like malevolent like feel. A eerie vibe of like. Like, uh, there might be, like, something not good upstairs, you know? Like, yeah. Like, apartment complex. Yeah. Back off 6th Street and, like, I don't know, Tyler or somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, w- way out in, in Whitaker, in probably. Way, yeah. yeah. In the dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. where I like to, like, run around at night. But that's where you're going to find all the ghouls and goblins. Exactly. Exactly. All the creepy crawly crawlies to hang out with at night. <laughs> apart from the zombies, not too many ghosts in Eugene. But if you go like uh, Cottage Grove Drain. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Hot yeah. Zone. Hot zone. Really? Yeah. I, I when I first moved out here, I stayed in a motel out there. Yeah. And me and my buddy got a hair in our ass to go check out these abandoned houses. Mm-hmm. And, like. We abandoned them, and yeah each one has its own little flavor you know it's oh yeah like touch that you're just like, ah. <laughs> nope <laughs> nope next one i'm not staying here anymore yeah we, we didn't make it even to the last house we're like let's go home <laughs> yeah there's a lot of ghost presence out there for sure yeah and definitely yeah i had to move <laughs> 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 well, thank you for your time, Bobby. It was it was a pleasure talking to you about about the area, and yeah, I hope you take it easy. All right, thank you. Well, it's been Seth Sepulchre here again. Um, I'm signing off. Thank you for your time, everyone. Stay creepy. Rumors are bullshit. Rumors are bullshit. There ain't nothing real about rumors.
Billy can look like anybody. Can't he? I... He could look just like me. And he would be looking. Now maybe we'll find something this time. This is a very old, old graveyard. And I've heard that there are things that happen here. It's supposed to be one of the most active in the areas. And I'm just going to have to find out if I am right. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Well, we'll see what we can find just walking around. Alright. I... Wait a minute. What the fuck? What? I think I see something. I, there's a person out here. Uh, hey! What you doing? This... What the fuck? That's really weird. Like, I'm picking up on something, like I see them. But when I get close... I don't know. I think I'm gonna do something stupid. Just gonna. Is this person. Is this real? I. I don't even fucking know. This is. Do you think I should do it? I'm gonna try and. I think they're like catatonic or something, and I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bizarre. Are you okay? Hello? Do you think this person's all right? Like, I think we should go. I, this man. I, I don't know, man. I feel like we're leaving them here. Like... What what do you think? I right. have to get out of here, man. I don't like this shit. <sighs> okay. Yeah, no, I really think it'd be the right thing to try and help them. Like, uh... Dude. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little numb to this shit, but, like, they're fucking gone. That... They're fucking gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, there. I don't know what the fuck that was. I feel like I'm just getting fucked with here. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Bad reaction. I'll just take the sound off this. Oh, man. Dude. Dude, she's fucking back. No, no. Okay, you know what? You're right. You're fucking right. We should go. We should just leave. Let me see if I can capture... Cemetery! Let's get out of here, dude. Okay. This is fucking nuts. Dude, these fucking trees here. Come on. So I guess we can't easily get out, so I guess I can play off that. And like... Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, dude, we are blocked the fuck in. Like, we could try for there, but that's someone's yard. And they might call the cops, and we gotta try and figure out some way. Oh man. It's 
Look, dude, do you want to trap us here? You're trapped here, aren't you? Let's try to find a way out of here. Man. Like, I think she's she trying to fucking me. trap us, dude. I really think we should go. I'm terrified. I'm terrified too, but like, imagine the view count. Well, let's go, man. It's not worth it, man. Let's it's fucking out. so worth it. Nah, man. We're fine. See, the worst part is no one's gonna believe it. But like, who knows, some people will. They might think it's fake. No one's ever seen anything like this before. I mean, look at this. It's not even picking. Knife. You have a knife? Look. And you're going without me. Yeah? No. No, I don't think you should go at all. I'm not telling you what to do. It's dangerous, man. Look. I know you can take care of yourself, but it's really fucked up. It's like things are just getting darker and darker. Creepier and creepier. Where's this gonna stop? The night has daybreak too. Yeah. But we hate the fucking sun. Like, just. Yeah, well, just fuck this shit. Fine. Fine, you know, have fun. You know what? Have fun. Yeah. I like going out at night anyway. Just come back in one piece, okay? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Gotta dig a dinner a dragonfly. So like I can't believe he really did not want me to come back here. We're we're investigators. It's it's what we're supposed to do. Hello? Um... What? Wait a minute.
Wait a minute, what is that? Okay, um, what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck is that? I think I should get out of here. I don't, I don't fucking like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, gross. All that stagnant water. What? What the fuck? Hmm. Why not? Uh. Wha what? What? What the fuck? Wha so, um, in my house, I have I like to call them portals, but some might call it a black hole. Yeah. But, um, Really what happens is I will hang my keys, where I always hang them, and then somehow they're in the other room on the floor behind the litter box. Or, <laughs> for example, um, even my wife and one of my kids uh, witnessed my phone falling straight from the ceiling onto my bed. Um, and so, it's fun. Whoa. Like it, things that go missing always show up in the oddest places. Right. They do. What, that what That is crazy. I've got a horse ghost that does come around, the spirit of a horse that was died and buried there, and uh, we definitely heard strange sounds outside. And, uh, <laughs> but that is to say that, like, in this town specifically, one of the questions we were going to ask you um, is related to this, okay. and it's about the state of this town and what this town kind of does to, to the buildings, but mostly the people, um, and how those two things, you know, play into one another, um, certainly because of, you know, the, ho the homeless population in this town, or just how many people in this, in this place are low income, stuff like that. Well, and how high the cost of housing is, making it unaffordable and keeping people unhoused intentionally so that, you know, people, investors, whatever you want to call them, can make lots of money, and um, it's very disturbing. Hey, have you ever heard of Billy the Bridge Troll? No, I can't say that I have. Really? Because he's, like, supposed to be an urban legend around here. Um, mm. Like, usually you can tell who it is by his mask, but Billy can really be anybody. Um, well, that's scary. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little, like, uh, oh. Um, uh, what's, what's going on? I don't know. I think uh, I think there's somebody else over here. Um, uh, uh, who is it? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's that's. Hello. That's. Hey. Uh. uh hello. Do, do you need do you need help or something? Um. If anybody's there, you should say so. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, no, I, I've never heard of uh, Billy Bridge Troll. Um, you know, um, have to look into that urban legend and, uh, the yeah. fact that it could be anybody, well, how would I know? Yeah. Uh. I know, it's, it's yeah. kind of an interesting one. I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of it, but also, it's, it's a mysterious one. Yeah, no problem.
Hey there guys, it is Seth Sepulcher here again. I'm at the University of Oregon on campus and I was about to check out the Pioneer Cemetery and there's some like bouncy house bullshit going on right next to it. A little jarring if you ask me. Um, yeah, take a look. So, yeah, just just so you know, if you hear any, like, you know, screams, the, they're, they're just screams of fun. And right when you enter here, too, there's just, just graves everywhere. This... Oh, hello. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get away from all that bullshit and noise just to be able to film something here. Um, let me go deeper in and and I'll get talking. Hey there guys, it is Seth Sepulcher here again. I'm over at the Eugene Pioneer Cemetery, which is one of three oldest cemeteries in the Eugene area. Um, if you hear any screams, it is literally just a college hullabaloo going down right next to the cemetery because this plot of land is on campus of the University of Oregon, but it is not property that is owned by the campus. Um, and in the past of the Civil War monument, specifically right behind me here, there have been three bills in the history of Oregon that have tried to buy out this land um, and repurpose it or something. Which is interesting because there have been two instances of that, including this one, that that we've talked about. Um, so there are seven graves in this plot for the Civil War Memorial. 
51 of these are from soldiers alone. But six of them belong to women and children who I am guessing were family of the men buried here. This statue, this statue is a monument for one of the generals of the Civil War. In 2001, as you can see the displacement of color between his head and the rest of the statue, in 2001, people vandalized the head, and it had to be replaced by a sculptor. And they replaced the head with the same quarry stone as the original monument. I've seen some interesting things here as well, just walking in. Um, I found a mirror. I found a hand mirror resting against a gravestone. Like somebody had just walked away from it and forgot that they had been looking at themselves. Let me show you. This is the shit I'm talking about. Like what? Oh, I swear that was not here before. What is this, makeup? I feel like people are sleeping here. I had just seen two people on bikes come out of here when I was walking in. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people slept here. And also, because of how old the Pioneer Cemetery, where some of the pioneers of this town are buried, many of them actually, this place has a certain air to it. Some of the graves are so worn away. You can only tell when they died, or what their name is. Some of them only have inscriptions saying that they were the brother or the mother. Some of the graves here seem to be haphazard, haphazardly placed. Um, many of them are indeed within their own concrete bounds, but some of them some of them are just sitting there next to a tree next to a tree or in the middle of a great empty space some of them even get two burial plots like this man He is buried here, but his U.S. military gravestone is in the cemetery Civil War block. There are entire pieces of land that are completely empty. I'm not sure what to think of those spots. In some places, there are small bits of stone that must be where someone is buried, but there is nothing written. There's nothing written there. There are graves waiting to be taken by moss and lichen. And there are graves already overtaken. Like this one, there are headstones that have been broken off and unrepaired. Or headstones that say nothing at all. Also, of course, more taken care of plots of what are considered some of the greatest pioneers of this town. Well maintained.
its own cordoned off area. The Murphys. This reads, Alberta McMurphy, a daughter of pioneers, was an influential woman in early Eugene. The turreted green Victorian house on the south side of Skinner's Butte belonged to her family and is known as the Castle on the Hill. And here rests one of the wood, one of the woodmen of the world. This man may have belonged to the woodmen of the world and have attend, had attended the Wow Hall when it still was the woodmen of the world meeting center. Some gravestones have been vandalized, and others, others left to ruin. Here we see a grave with an incredibly old f iron fence that has not been replaced nor fixed. Mary and Charles Griffin. It pains me so terribly to think that this is what the dead get. This is the treatment. Kilpatrick. Even still, we have those graves that have been completely weathered by time. Even still, there are cordoned off sections, plots that are empty, waiting for someone to come take their place. to the moon at night, whoa. The daylight, don't know when I'll see the end, oh, oh. Don't know when I'm coming back, never gonna turn my back, never gonna... Yeah, this shit is really creepy. Like, just in the middle of the street like this. All of this shit, too. Like, where- oh, this fence is so... This fence is exhaustively long. Like, there is an end to it down there. And over there. But, it's really... Like, they've blocked off the entire street. Cat. I just saw a cat. Just saw a little kitty cat over here. Just saw a little kitty cat, um, over at this house that may or may not be the place where somebody got caught hoarding. 24 cats. There are ghosts absolutely everywhere, if you look close enough. Absolutely everywhere in the city of Eugene and Springfield. Ghosts. Mm-hmm. Our ghosts here are not your traditional women in white or anything. Our ghosts are people who are abandoned by society. I think somebody still lives here, but... Somebody does still live here. There is... Yeah, it just looks like a normal house to people. It does. But, but there are so is, many cats. 
This place has a bad vibe to it. It does. A mm. glaring. And if we're lucky, we can catch something. Before. I saw a cat earlier. Yeah, I think two. I know they're in the bushes and I know they're watching. Mm hmm. It's really creepy, actually, that they're watching. It is. But this could be an animal sanctuary. It the, could be. The rumors we heard might be a little unfounded. Oh, yeah. Are you still filming? I am. Oh, you are? Here, put, put. It's always really fucking creepy whenever you're out at night alone and you see somebody and, you know, they're from a distance and you don't really get to talk to them, but you know that there's people, you know that there's people out at night just like you, doing whatever they want to, just like you. I feel quite nervous out here, um, just cause, I don't know, just cause, um, I, I'm taking the bus home from work and fucking, it feels like I'm being followed. It's 10 p.m. Kind of nervous. Um, I'll just probably let my boyfriend know. But, um, Kind of not a fan of thinking that somebody is watching me, uh, the, the, like, now, of all times, please, please. I guess I'll just record it. Yeah, so this field up ahead of us, um, if you go a little further, that that uh, hill up there, that's Mount Pisgah. So if you go far, far enough, you can get to Mount Pisgah from this field and from this path. There are some people though, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, this shit. We had to cut that root because it was so overgrown into the path. Yeah, it was tripping everybody. There are, there are all sorts of trees like this on the path, like they even had to cut that one down. Okay. Yeah, just hearing things moving in the underbrush next to us. Oh yeah, well, this stuff here, that's real. That's genuinely old. I'm gonna knock. I'll see what happens. Anyone home?
Nope. Nobody home. Personally, I'm not quite convinced that nobody is home. This property is so very old. I'm talking hundreds of years old. And this house looks quite old as well. Many people have lived here. And I doubt they have not died here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the what you were just saying about it. Mm -hmm. So this place is completely boarded up and there's no sunlight entering inside this building. And sunlight is a purifying energy for spirits. So whatever's in there is gonna be very dark and dwells mm. in the darkness. Malevolent you could say. Yeah. Hey there everybody, it's Seth Sepulchre here. This is gonna be my last entry of the night. Um, I'm over here at the cemetery park, um, next to the Pioneer Memorial. Um, I'll read a few experts of this historical marker um, for the, has misguidedly done disrespectful things to to these long gone people two of these stones of the flat ones in this concrete are so worn out that until I zoom a little closer you can't even tell that they're there and this one in particular has been so worn away you can barely make out even their name. This one as well, you can see, is so worn away. It's so very worn away. Only her name is still there. These people died more than a century ago. More than a century ago. All of them. I always try to make a point to clear off gravestones and headstones to try and respect the last link these people have to this world. To their material body. These tall ones, these three dimensional ones, children of J.E. and E. Sweet, children. The son of B.J. and G.E. Pengra, who most likely died as an infant because there are no dates. <sighs> Rebecca Ann Benson. Who was less than 20 years old. I hope with this video that you enjoyed what you saw and what you may have learned today with me and that you always remember to respect the dead because that will be you someday. Take it easy, creepers. Mm. I... Wait a minute. What the fuck? What? I think I see something. I... There's a person out here. Uh, hey. 
What you doing? This. I, I don't know what to do. I'm all fucking mixed up here. Like, it's right there. I should be running. I ran. It's fucking not. I think there is some way. There's a car there. We're just going to have to fucking risk it. I think we've got more than enough. Whew. Yeah, let's let's just fucking leave. Fuck this. So, yeah, that was that was crazy as shit. That was crazy. Absolutely mad. I don't either. I don't know if that's a person or a ghost or what, but like, whoever they are, they're fucking crazy. Maybe they're just a possessed person. Maybe they're possessed. Maybe they're like on drugs. Maybe. I don't see them. I don't fucking see them either. Maybe they are a ghost. I don't know. Whatever they are, man, we're, we're going home. We're done. And... Brody! There's nothing out there.
I need to just fucking run. Are you guys seeing this? Billy's real! Real. Hello everyone, it is Seth Sepulcher here again. I am over here at the Masonic Cemetery. And I'm right next to the Hope Abbey Mausoleum. Now, this cemetery was ever so kind as to um, provide pamphlets for the kinds of attractions that you may see here. Um, so here we have one about Hope Abbey, which I'm standing in front of. I didn't try the door because it's probably going to be locked. Um, let's see what we can find out about this building. Let's see. All right. And so, one of the other features, besides the Hope Abbey Mausoleum, that is in this cemetery that uh, we're quite proud of is the Whitaker Crypt. Because Whitaker was the first mayor of Eugene. So this is why there is such a big memorial for him over behind me here. You can barely see it. It's uh, right there. So we're gonna go over there and see what's going on. See if anything's creepy. All right, and so some of the trees you might find in this uh, cemetery here, uh, many of them, if not most of them, except for a few, are native to Oregon, native to this area. Trees such as the Douglas fir and the Pacific yew, ponderosa pine, big leaf maple, as well as, oh, okay, um, never mind, I think I'll head back down here, because I don't want to disturb anybody, um, Jesus fucking Christ, my leg hurts so much, um, this cemetery is so goddamn hilly, you would not believe it, um, other, other plants of note, there is, one yellow U around here, I remember reading. Um, I wish they had a map of the trees, because I would really love to um, visit them. The Memorial Outlook and Gardens are down that way. Um, but, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, there's always a bunch of lichen in these trees. Um, and I like the... The, the peeling bark. Um... Okay, there's that, there's that dude again. Um, and, you know, the, the lichen may not hurt the, um, so, I'm not sure whether, you know, that the, the lichen may not hurt the trees, but it certainly does some damage to, um, graves over time. I don't know what, uh, Oh, uh, h hello? That's, that's fucking creepy. I don't like that at all. Uh, uh, these are some nice graves, but I'm not gonna get into it. Because the creepy people. Getting out of here. Stone obelisks. These pillars are very imposing and rememberable. This, this stone monument is very interesting as well. A goblet. This graveyard is so incredibly peaceful. I wish I would be able to be buried here. Oh, there they are again. Um, 
Well, it's it's public property. It's daytime. I could not care less. Interesting placement. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Um, well, I guess I'm gonna... Because I don't like the looks of this at all. Um, peace. Stay creepy. And I don't like the looks of that, so, um, stay creepy, everyone. Oh, what, what, what the fuck? What? Jesus! So, this, this cemetery safari, I would say... Uh, wasn't necessarily a hit or a miss, you know. Um, there's still a little bit left in the night and stuff, but I don't know. I'd rather go home at this point, you know. E you know, like I'm not really. What the? What the fuck? Um, okay. Anyways, wasn't necessarily a success or a failure. I didn't see any bones sticking out of the ground, so, that, so that's a win, you could say. Uh, I'm gonna sign off for now, everybody. Stay creepy. Alright, everybody. Thank you for watching this uh, version of our cemetery safari. You could say I just came up with that recently. Um, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time on my little adventures. So, see ya. Shit. Maybe. I told you I won't film you, man. As long as you don't kill me. Join or die. Join or die? What does that mean? Okay. some weird shit when I last was at Valley River, so I just wanted to see what, what kind of weirdness the area gives us. I got stalked the, the last time I came here, and it was just, it was very unnerving and such a bizarre occurrence that I want to see, see what else happens over here. Alright, Seth Sepulchre here today with one of my friends, Danny. He's over there. He's accompanying me um, because I fucking, you know, got stalked over at Valley River last week. What the fuck was that? Fucking Eugene, so it's probably some renegade hippie. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Who the fuck knows who's over here? You get a whiff of patchouli, that's when you know to run. Yeah, exactly. Look. There's some blankets and sheets. Better not hit my head on these... on these branches. <laughs> oh, a little fire somebody made. That's, that's always nice. Oh, what the fuck are these? These look like my shoes, almost. This fucking... Yeah, yeah, I have a pair of shoes exactly like these. That's... That's... Eerie. That is fucking eerie. I... Kinda wanna... Move along, cause there's some weird shit ha There's... Some... Some noises. And... Some needles, too. That's... That's never fun. Accidentally took a... 
took a picture instead of a video. I hate when that happens. Oh, shit. All right. Because it's like, this is exactly the kind of weird shit I was talking about. Let's get that. Because it, like, what the fuck is this mask about? What the fuck? You know? Like, I don't like this graffiti either. It's kind of... What does it even say? I, I see exactly. I have I have no fucking clue. Floats. Yeah, that's their signature, I guess. Fuck. This mask is pretty creepy. Doug Doogie Dougie. What the hell? Dookie. Yeah. Dookie. Well, I don't want to be getting into any Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, that's that's pretty creepy. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I think we should be more masks. More? Yeah, more. Look at that. Oh. That one looks all bloody and shit. It's from its eyes. Yeah. Fuck. That's gnarly. These are fucking gnarly looking. God damn. Ooh, gnarly. Look at this shit. I know, right? Oh, gross. Is there blade? I think it fucking is. Jesus. Gnarly. This almost looks like a shrine or something. Oh, another fire. Hmm, interesting. Wait a minute, are there really more needles over there, dude? Yeah, they're right here. Ah, uh, gross. This shit is just everywhere, man. There's even some whippet contain some rusted whippets right over here. Do you do do you do you agree with me that it's a little weird over here? Um, like just what with what you've seen and stuff, or do you? Do you think it's just kind of like the usual kind of stuff that goes on in this town? I mean, yeah, it's weird, but I mean, there's a lot of homeless people. What yeah. Do you, what do you expect? Yeah, I I agree. Um, people people who don't have a place to go really don't really they don't have much of a choice. Right. Um. So, I mean, honestly, if it was me. You know, if it was me, I would I would kind of prefer to to sleep next to the river and stuff because it's really pretty, um, and especially in the summer, it's quite cool and nice. To sleep next to the dirty fucking needles. Yeah, I know. What on earth? Yeah, I think we should probably leave soon. Hey. God for today even for just. Just this this blanket thing. This blanket thing. I always found Seth to be really interesting as a person. Like so interesting, I just couldn't help it, you know. Like I just wanted to be around them. I wanted to see them. And I wanted to be like them too. I mean I don't have that same charisma or that same gift of just being able to talk to anyone. I've tried. I've talked to some weird fucking people in the last few months. But like, I don't know, there's just something off about him now. And I can't really place it. Like, like I've encountered the mask people as well, but I always took it like it was some kind of prank or something. Like, they'd come at me, I'd run away, and then they'd be gone. But it just feels like, I don't know, it's like there's a secret path or something. Like, like it is serious, you know. Seth have, 
Seth has gotten very, very quiet, and I don't know. He won't take my calls, and it's it's just been weird. Like, we used to hang out a lot, and, you know, we were hanging out even when he, you know, didn't really know it, you know what I mean? I mean, I know it sounds creepy, and I know it sounds gross, but it's like I wanted to learn from example from him even throughout, like, all the shit. And, like, I saw his footage, and he hasn't really seen mine, but, you know, I know there's something that's, like, really off that's going on right now, you know. I mean, I know he's making content, or at least I'd like to hope he is, but, you know, it's, it's hard to say what's going on. I mean, I remember, it wasn't even that long ago, but we were over here just looking at the pipes and, like, looking at the weird, weird shit, and we, we weren't, we weren't doing anything all that crazy, but, you know, we wound up going to these places, places where we couldn't really show that we were there. And, you know, it just kept getting weirder and worse from there. You know, we got into, like, we got into it a few times. And now I'm not sure what's going on with him, you know. I mean, I know he's been working with another person, too. Like, we don't really know each other either. But, you know, I'm just going to keep going out. I was going to go investigate the uh, Tugman Park tonight. Like, you know, Tugman Park. I was going to go check it out and try out the whole ghost hunt thing. I've had a little bit of success with, um, with Sab. We've gone into the woods and seen creepy shit. We went to a cemetery and we saw some really creepy shit. And now I want to go to Tugman Park and see if it's actually haunted. And it might be. I don't know. But I'm going tonight. And... You know, I think it'll be pretty much, pretty tame there. You know, it's just a bathroom, but, you know, that's what I'm doing. Tugman Park, you know. Ugh. So, like, I was just fucking sleeping, right? Like, I was just fucking sleeping, and, and I swear, something, something fucking woke me up. I don't know what the fuck it was, but, I don't know. It doesn't sound sane, but. I, I feel like somebody's watching me, even when I'm at home. It feels like somebody is watching me. <sighs> like Aldo. And you know, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. So like... I don't, I don't really know what to think. I'm, I'm pretty fucking scared. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's on my floor. I just filmed that too. 
This, this is too fucking much. Like, my door is locked, but I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't... What the hell? What the hell is that? No fucking way. What the fuck? Oh, okay, fuck this, um... Um... I don't, I don't even have my keys. God damn it. Seriously, I have no idea what the fuck that was about. Like, I swear, I swear I did not lock myself out. I swear I didn't. Like, like, what the f- Seriously, what the fuck is going on here? Seriously? Hello? Jesus. Hello? Oh my god! What the f- <laughs> fucking like this shit. I gotta, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh my god, no. Please, no. Uh, Even... There's... there's nobody. There's just spiders in the window. Fucking god. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm. I'm. There's this. this thing moving by itself. Oh, 
I... <laughs> what the f... Who's doing this? Who's, who's doing this? I'm... I don't, I don't know what the fuck to think. I, I don't, I don't, I don't... I, I... I have to film more. It's fucking weird shit. But I don't... I, I, I don't want to get closer. I'm, I'm gonna... I have to try and get inside again. I have to... I, I really have to try and get inside again. What the... F what? Uh, okay, okay, I'm going... I'm going around to the other door. I'm... I have to try and get inside because... This is too much. This is too much. At night? What? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is Seth Sepulcher. This is Seth Sepulcher here. And I don't think there's any point in running anymore. There's no point in running if this is what they want. This is Seth Sepulcher here. I don't think... I don't think there's... Any way. I don't think there's any way out, out from this. There's... There's nothing. I, I give in. Okay, I give in. There's nothing left for me. Alright. There's nothing anymore. Oh my... Oh my god, who the fuck is that? What the fuck? No. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Please, no! Hey guys, this is uh, Danny, and I've been a little concerned because I haven't heard from uh, Seth in a while since the uh, that shit went down at the river. Um, so I don't know if they've just ghosted me or what's happening, but I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, we got some creepy stairs here. Got that beautiful Oregon weather. Um, oh yeah, so Seth. So, yeah, I, I'm i kind of skeptical of a lot of the bullshit, um, not really an astrology type, etc. But um, I gotta admit, even I was pretty freaked out, and by what I saw, like, even just, like, the needles and the fucking hobos, hillbillies, whatever kind of shit can turn up in town. Just want to get a shot of this guy here. Long and narrow. That's what she said. Right, I'm outside the building right now. Oh, speaking of COVID masks. Right outside the building and... Uh, Oh, what? It's open. Okay, that was weird. It's getting light. Wonder if they're ever gonna fix that shit. Anyway, yeah, I'm almost...
else there. Check on set. Anybody home? Seth? Seth? I'm coming, I'll be right there. Seth, gonna go get you some water, all right, buddy? Jesus Christ!
Win or die. What the f No. No, you're fucking in on this shit. hate that. Because, like, sometimes that, like, night footage of driving is some of the ideal. Because then I just turn the sound off on it, too. Because it's always, you know, that's part of it. I mean, this is a good process. This is me. You're right. This is my element. That's what you do. That like, defines who you Exactly. You know, I make horror. I make media. I don't know. Oh my god, really? Flash again? Really? <laughs> I couldn't turn it on and off earlier. <clears throat> With writer's block, honestly, the thing to do is to just write. You you can write about your writer's block, or you can just write random words, or you just write. Because once you, it's like starting a lawnmower, you know? You gotta like, sometimes you gotta pull the string more than once to like get it going. Yeah. You know? It does drive me insane when people say write about your writer's block. It's like, ah, <laughs> I don't want to again. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's a real easy solution to it. Is you just 